Cayman Islands Law School, as you know, recently hosted the Caribbean Law Clinic uh, for the second time. Um, we've been a member of the organisation for about five years now. Recently when we hosted the clinic, uh, students from the United States uh, and from other Caribbean law schools uh, were all required to research into Cayman law. Uh, so it exposes them to uh, a legal system and legal uh, practices and procedures that they wouldn't otherwise uh, have had exposure to. Well, they're in a courtroom environment and it was probably their first time in a courtroom environment so they were all a, a little nervous and mind you that's, that's not uh, necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes an overconfident uh, um, advocate uh, it can be a little bit counterproductive. mean that either Daisy would have to be born in the Cayman Islands or in another BOTC. Today we made presentation before the Justice Queen and the Solicitor General and the Senior Con Council at the court. It was very good. Actually, he learned new areas of the law that are developing, problem areas that they need solutions to. So it can give you something to think about. I mean, getting ready to leave law school to know the state that the law is in regarding certain areas. Also, just to meet other persons from different law schools, other cultures, and and um, to get other, to get United States persons to really see the legal customs that we have here, for example, the use of my lord and my lady. So it's, it's, it was good in that respect. It was great to interact with students from Jamaica and the Bahamas and the Caribbean, um, especially because their law is based on English law and it's quite different from law in the United States. the relationship between father and children have to, has to be established. I got involved with the program through what we have at our school called a Caribbean internship. So the internship provided us to do research on a country in the Caribbean as well as do information and answers to the questions that were provided to us by the Cayman government. Uh, well, it's a great experience just to uh, get involved in another culture, learn their legal systems, and be able to provide some assistance um, that essentially that the United States could bring to a Caribbean country. Since I'm interested in in international comparative law that they had this program available. So it was right up my alley uh, and that's one of the reasons why I went to Florida Coastal School of Law so I could uh, get this experience. Well the experience here has been great. First of all coming to Cayman, that's a experience by itself and then working with other students from other universities um, in North America and also the Caymanian students and the other Caribbean students. It was just a great experience and we got to get a feel of the island itself, which was awesome. The world is getting a lot smaller. You will have commercial contracts where you may have a Caymanian company that uh, does business in the United States or does business with a U.S. vendor. The contract itself may apply U.S. law. It could apply Caymanian law. It might uh, be executed in part in the United States. It may be executed in part in the Cayman. So I think it's important if one wishes to be involved in this brave new world where there is a globalization that uh, it's important for our students to be very familiar with the jurisprudence of different countries. But one of the major things I've learned is the importance of networking in the, in the field of law. I've learned that no man is an island and that wasn't that was that is not that that has become so much more real to me it is it is not a cliche it is so true because on your own you feel that you can feel that you have such a grasp of a particular area of the law but the law is always changing and when you network with other people and you open up your mind is is like and you combine your information is is wonderful it's a wonderful initiative